Are you ready to have a driving adventure? It's our first time in Germany and we are on our way to go pick up a rental car and we're gonna be driving on the Autobahn. Okay, here we go. We're about to get on the Autobahn. I did a little bit of research before we did this. I mean, I, I, I watched quite a few videos. I went through a thing of all of the different signs. I think the thing that's gonna be the hardest challenge for me is that we just spent five months in the UK. I got very used to driving on the other side of the road. Now we're back on the side I'm used to, but in a stick shift, which I haven't driven in a long time outside of driving in the UK, so wish me luck. What might be the biggest difference is that these signs that basically tell you that you have the right of way just don't exist in the US. We don't have those. It is interesting that the lights here are on the like front end of the street mm -hmm. instead of across the street like in the US. Here we go. Okay. This is honestly for a, like a tiny Fiat, it's like pretty pimped out. It is funny because like there's this big bar right here and I feel like I have to like look under to see the, the traffic light here. Also, they do the yellow before green, just like in the UK, which I'm a big fan of. I think that's one thing I wish we did in the US. Okay, that guy is going way faster than me. I can't, I don't know what the speed limit is right here now. Uh, so I was just going 30 just to be safe, but everyone is going faster than I am, so I guess I need to pick up speed a little bit. Honestly, I think this is so far easier than driving in the UK because at least there's a familiar side of the road. <laughs> I have successfully made it to a gas station or a petrol station, I'm not sure what they call them here, but we are here. Jeremy ran inside to get us some breakfast, which might be some Bockwurst and Brochen, uh, possibly. We are off to the Autobahn, leaving Cologne and heading down uh, past Mines, so we have a few hours to drive today. I will be curious to see what it is like because uh, it looks like there might be traffic and also um, I'm not sure if the stretch that we are about to do has any kind of speed limits or not. Something around 70% of the Autobahn is uh, does not have a speed limit. I guess there's a recommended speed limit but it's something like 180 miles per hour and um, only about 30% actually does have a speed limit so uh, we will we will see. We'll see how, how good this bad boy can go. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a croissant real fast, and then we're gonna get on the Autobahn. Well, I let someone pass me. I did one good thing. Okay, we're not on the Autobahn yet, but we're coming to it. Here we go. people will ride all over whatever lane they want to be in. People pass on the 
the inner lanes where you're not really supposed, supposed to pass. To, yeah. Um, it is taken a lot more seriously here that you just have to get out of the way because people like to go fast and I can appreciate that and respect it. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm getting a little bit more courage. I'm going up to like 120 now, which I don't even know. Is that fast? Will you look that up for me? 130 is about 80. Okay. One, so I'm going 150 now. And I don't know, but even, it's funny because 130 is about 80 and it feels very fast. But then there's also still people like flying past me on the other side. We're going to go faster than this. We're going 160. sections of the Rhine River. It's just known for being very, very beautiful. And I can see why. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And we've seen many, many castles in our short time here. I missed lining up the uh, gas gauge with the pump, but in my defense, this is a very tiny car. And just like in the UK, you pump first and then you pay, which is a very strange concept as an American. You used to do that in America. They just don't trust you anymore. <laughs> Filling up was 50 euros, which is probably fairly on par with the UK. Maybe a little cheaper. I think it's a little cheaper. But, but yeah. definitely more expensive than the US. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that the place that we stop for gas has a beautiful church right there. You can see vineyards in the background. It's absolutely gorgeous here. We've had a wonderful time touring the city, taking in the sights, learning about the history. Highlights for me definitely include afternoon cakes on the Market Square and the Gutenberg Museum, which is one of the oldest book and print museums in the world. We spent 10 days in and around Mainz, visiting castles, taking gondola rides, boat rides, exploring all kinds of amazing places. But the highlight for me of this section of our trip has been getting to see Oppenheim, the small city that my grandma grew up in. And now, after 10 incredible days, it's time to get back on the road and head to the next destination. Now that it's a Monday, we've got trucks on the road, big trucks. There's lots more traffic. It's a little bit more intimidating than when we were 
driving around on a Sunday. It really is like you have to find that break in the passing of like a lot of cars. The one thing that I have learned about this car specifically is that it does it, it does not like to go very fast very quickly. So you have to very, be very careful about like timing things to get over. Like I'm stuck between two trucks, but I don't want to pull out in front of one of these cars because I know this car cannot handle going that fast that quickly. <laughs> We made it to Bavaria, where we will be spending the next week, starting tomorrow in Rotenburg. I am very excited. This is our first time checking out Bavaria. We have a lovely hotel room. Carly has already made herself at home. <laughs> She's already settled right in. How's driving in Germany for you? It's been fine. You've been okay? <laughs> You've been okay riding in the car yeah. with me? <laughs> I would say overall, it's been really good. I think, you know, last year I drove in the UK for the first time and I think that was a completely different experience. And this feels a little bit more like driving in the US, probably because we drive on the same side of the road. But also, uh, I think driving in the UK helps a little bit because there are some pretty narrow streets here. And uh, I think it's kind of a combination of the two and it's been pretty good. If you are an American and you're curious uh, about what it's like driving here, I would suggest it. I feel like sometimes you just have a little bit more control and you can stop and see little towns and things like that, which that is what we're gonna do. So I'm very excited. It is amazing that people can drive so fast on the Autobahn and yet it systematically just works really well. We were talking with my cousin the other day about how there's a lot more school and Involved and you have to have a certain number of hours of practice before you can get your license here and I think it kind of varies from state to state in the US but it sounds like it's a lot less intensive to get your license in the US which is funny that you can get an international driving permit in the US and they're just like sure you can drive here now <laughs> considering all of the things that uh, German people have to go through in order to get their license here, but it works. It's, it's systematically just works so much better than our freeway system in the US, in my opinion anyway. Carly's only opinion is that she's ready for a nap. We are spending the next week in Bavaria. We're starting in the cool old medieval town of Rotenburg. Our room has some amazing decorative pieces uh, of Rotenburg it looks like so that's pretty neat that's what we'll be doing in the next video so make sure you stay tuned for that if you haven't seen our video about Cologne or Colm I think that's how you say it make sure that you check it out here thank you always to our patrons for supporting our channel and thank you for watching we'll see you very soon all over Bavaria